Oh, good golly gosh, fellas. It's Saturday morning, I'm on call, so I have a bit of a strategic plan set out. And that is, get up at the crack of friggin' dawn, and hopefully I can get the majority of the brew day done while people are still in bed. They won't be ringing me up. <laughs> I actually got up at six. I was out here at six o'clock, got the HLT on. Um, we're up to temps already, so my goodness, what time is it? It's about seven o'clock. So we're friggin' grasping the bull by the damn horns. Ah, oh, mosaic, New England IPA. I came to the decision that I was definitely gonna be doing another New England IPA, and I liked the mosaic pale ale so much that I thought, why not just turn it into a New England IPA? I've tinkered around with the grain from the previous pale ale, just a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit. I've took out the crystal, We've added oats and uh, flaked barley, but not too much. The, the main body of the beer is just 91% Maris Otter, or 5.9% oat and 3% flaked barley, and that's it. The, um, but the hop scheduling is exactly the same as the pale. So uh, 5 grams for the owl boil, uh, 20 grams for a 15 minute boil, 35 grams for a five minute boil, and then uh, 25 grams for a whirlpool steep, and then dry hopping, we're using 40 grams, this is all of mosaic, for five days. I'm gonna really step onto this dry hopping whilst the fermentation's happening. Put it in the fermenter today, and tomorrow, if the, if the fermentation's kicked off, the next day if it's kicked off, boom! in they go and now uh, it's going to ferment with the dry hops in there and it's going to be interesting to see just how much haze that really does give because um, I've not gone over the top with the grain bill uh, in regards to oats and flake barley so we shall friggin see but let's get weighed out I've not even got the grains weighed out yet and we're, we're ready for, for mashing in let's get the grains in friggin right I'm using the fan today as well, uh, so I don't know how she's gonna how she's gonna deal with it. But she'll either deal with it or she won't deal with it. That's about it to report for now. We're mashed in. We're at temps, 65, 65 degrees, and the HLT's climbing back up, so we can recirc if we need to, which we will do. Got better efficiencies that way and yeah just need to sort out the fermentation fridge now to retrieve the what oh look at this color so when I first did the video where I brewed up the first New England IPA, got a lot of comments saying, don't want a soupy mash. Uh, that's not where the, uh, the cloudiness comes from. It comes primarily from the dry hopping during fermentation. And of course you've got the oats and the stuff like that in it, but don't need to get a soupy mash. So I'm trying to uh, just do a normal mash and uh, we're looking nice and clear. So we'll see. We'll see how this one turns out after after the dry hop. Put the lid back on it because we just just noticed she rose a degree. I took the lid off and we're back to 65. It's quite chilly today. I think it's going to be nice, but it's because it's really early. It's um, it's still a bit chilly out. But no, I think it's going to be a nice day. I can probably get done with the brew day for around dinner time, and then the afternoon 
I can enjoy in the sun. <laughs> that happens, I don't believe. I don't believe we're gonna get much sun, but uh, we're, we're looking like so far we're having a relaxed brew day. It doesn't feel quite right. All right, fellas, the mash is complete. Thank friggity frig. Um, we are at about half past eight in the morning and the mash is complete. Sparge is just about up to temp. And then we're gonna start running her off. She's looking pretty damn clear. Anyway, 20, 20, 20, 26 litres. 26 litres. She's looking friggin' pale, fellas. But we need to take a reading before that. And we are looking for a pre boil gravity of 1048. I've already given her a bit of a stir up just while the last two litres was going in. So I'll just give her another good little stir just to make sure the sparge water and that denser uh, first runnings that was at the bottom obviously is mixed together. And then we're going to take a read! Oh, oh, my giddy aunt. What did we want? 10.48. And we are at 10.48 on the friggin' nose. Estimated pre board gravity, 10.48. There we go. 10.48 on the friggin' nose. Nose. So I've got to be happy with that. Good efficiency is through the mash. Hit the pre-boil volume. 10.12 was the last bit of runnings coming off the sparge. 10.48 we needed. 10.48 we got. That's command for the boil. <laughs> Using the old wonky, <laughs> wonky fan. Wonky fan. Let's hope it. Uh, let's hope it lives. But you know what? I bet it dies. Oh, sweet mother of Mary. Oh, 2016 crop. Smells fresh as a daisy. Got some hops weighed out. Oh my god. She's empty, boys. She's empty. So it always worries me when a brew day goes as well as it is doing. Is it just me or does anyone else have the same thing? Brew day should be full of obstacles and trauma. When you have a brew day like that, you know you've had a brew day, proper brew day. Even though we want them to be smooth, no problems, when we get them like that, there's always something in the back of your head which is saying, something's gonna go terribly wrong. <laughs> oh well. I'm sure it will. I'm sure we'll capture it. 60 minute, 15 minute, five minutes. Whirlpool. That's a hundred grams. Oh, this IPA is going to be pretty fruity. There'll be 140 grams going into this IPA. Yeah, I'd say that element's uh, up and running as we have nearly had a boil over. So we're just going to let it get through its hot break and then uh, start wanging some hoppage in. What's this? That's the five grams at 60 minutes in. 15 minute addition. The five minute addition is 35 grams. Oh yeah. Let them do their thing for five minutes. Then we'll start chilling her down to uh, 80 degrees and then we'll whirlpool and then we've got to get her into a fermenter pretty damn sharpish because I've got to go. Oh. Alright fellas. <laughs> what a grueler. What an absolute grueler it's been. Um, I knew the second I hit my numbers that uh, something would go amiss today. 
Uh, luckily, nothing to do with the brew day went wrong, but I'm going to fill you in because we missed the uh, whirlpooling and, and get into the fermenter, which she's behind me. Still no yeast in there. So what happened was I got a call out. Luckily, I didn't have to be there for an hour and a half once I got the call, and I'd only just dropped in the uh, the first hop additions at 60 minutes. So I pulled the Mission Impossible on it and. Uh, cut the brew day short by 10 minutes so the boils had 10 minutes less just so I could get it done otherwise I wouldn't have got it uh, I wouldn't have got it done I would have had to have just cancelled it to get to the job so 10 minutes short of the uh, boil but everything went in I ended up chilling it down to 35 degrees and then I had to shoot off so we've got no yeast in there now so we're going to pop that in now and she's been sat out for about two hours probably longer and she's at pitching temp, she's perfect. So let's get the yeast in her. God. The yeast I'm going with is USO5. I was looking at what all the people were using liquid yeast wise for New England IPAs and uh, I'd seen a couple that were using USO5 and some that were, so for today, just going for USO5. Oh, Macarena. I need to take a reading, don't I? All right, let's have a look where we're meant to be. So, target gravity of 10.54. Wish me luck. Oh, man. That just sweetens the deal. After a troublesome brew day. Target gravity of 10.54. 10 10.50. Friggin' four. Oh yeah! Absolutely psyched with that. Hit the numbers uh, pre-boil, hit the numbers post-boil. We wanted um, a final volume of 21 litres, which we have got. Yeah, if I hadn't have been called out and had to run about and do things that I didn't want to do, it would have been an absolutely perfect textbook brew day. So I'm going to get this to bed. If it starts fermenting heavily tonight, then tomorrow, in with the dry hops, 40 grams. That's it, fellas. That is it. Oh. So as always, guys, don't forget to thumb this video because they're all around. Don't forget to hit this little icon here to subscribe. Click it, you want to out. It's coming up next. Share the video. Get it that for all to see. And until next time, I'm out of here. Boop.